Iranian gay man beheaded by family in quote unquote honor killing uh, in uh, Afaz, Iran. Um, on May 4th, 20 year old Ali Reza, or just Ali, uh, Faisali Monfared, was murdered in the Iranian city of Afaz by three male suspects, including his half brother. The motive, the motive for his murder came when the killers found out that he was exempt from Iranian military service on the grounds of, quote, moral and sexual depravities, such as transsexualism. Um, on May 7th and May 8th, Iranian news organizations outside of the Islamic Republic reported the murder. Iran Wire said on their website that on May 4th, Ali Reza's half-brother got him into a car and drove him outside the city where he was murdered. Uh, Ali's partner told the activist group Six Ring, meaning Six Colors, that the alleged murderer had called Ali's mother to tell her where to find her son's severed body. Uh, Radio uh, Zamane, an Amsterdam-based Persian language radio channel, reported the Iranian authorities arrested the three men. Uh, Fazali uh, Mofarede's, uh partner, Bayat, said to Six Rang that Ali had been preparing to flee to Turkey and to seek uh, further seek asylum in Europe. Um, so the, also the story is that the, 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 I think the documents that showed that he doesn't need to go to military service it did mention is because because of his sexuality because and they considered it to be like a, a disease or like a mental pro, uh, disorder and that's why he was let off to, because in iran there's mandatory military uh, service for all mm -hmm. men but he was let he was able to not go because of his is he i don't know you you mentioned both he's he's is he gay or is he trans because you mentioned both i think there seems to be well, a confusion um i think that might be part of the iranian state policy of having gay men basically transition to okay, being but, women but okay so i'm just gonna go with what they're what these what these people what my scene alina Jad is saying is okay so he's just he's just gay but in iran there's a confusion between gay and trans so i think that that might be the source of confusion but they consider his homosexuality to be a mental disorder over there by the way youtube that's not my thinking please this is just the news okay god damn it we're gonna get a strike on this one um but and that's why they let him off military service but they put that on his card or his documentation and that's how his family um that was what made his family realize that he's gay and that's that what that's what led to his beheading hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy kali you know like me then that means that you probably want more blasphemous art well i have good news for you if you subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up, link below. Um, but this is, you know, this is why some people are saying that this is this shouldn't have been on the on his documents. Rifka, you want to say something? You had your hands up. Yeah, I'm wondering if um, his family, if it was on his documents, or if someone leaked it to them, mm. or his parents saw it because it said that they saw this on his you know whatever his documents are but i don't um it was a 
ah, an exemption card. You're right. It was on his exemption card because right. he was leaving and he came home to get the card. Right. And, they and saw so it his, his family card. must have looked at it. Right. This is when your family is worse than the government, right? Because the government is like, the government is not, okay, so he, the way, so a lot of people don't understand in Iran, you don't get punished for being gay, okay? You get punished for acting on being gay, right? So like they, they the government basically over there consider this man to be gay, but there is no punishment for that. Um, and they just said, okay, so you have a mental disorder, so you don't have to do military service, right? And he was going to, now that he's, he was off military, he didn't have to do military service, he was going to use his military service card, which I, I got one as well. So here's the thing, in Iran, you can't leave the country once you reach a certain age until you do your military service or until you become exempt from doing military service, right? So I have that card. Um, I had to get that card myself before I was able to leave Iran, right? Um, so as soon as he got that card, he knew that he, he you know, Iran is not a good place for him. He so, he go was to gonna, no, so he was going to go use that card to be able to leave Iran and go to Turkey, right? So he that was his, that was his like ticket, that, that card was now his ticket to freedom, right? So he was going to go get it to be able to leave, but his family saw the card and they ended his life which is so sad like he was he was this close to making it out and surviving i was gonna say that they also i mean it was all this trickery you know he was part of the reason is he knew he was afraid of them mm. and that was you know he he feared his family and then they tricked him and said that his father wanted to speak to him and that's how oh. they got him to go with them mm. So it's just this horrible ruse that your family members are perpetrating on you, including your half brother and implicating your parents in it. Oh, you know, you're, whether they knew or not knew now they're being, you know, a pawn in this whole thing. And that's why he went with them, you know, mm. and it's just, it's really sad and, and very disturbed that, you know, cause this guy's thinking, Oh, maybe I'm leaving the country. You know, maybe my father, this may be his last chance to see his father. And right. they know right. this, you know, it's horrible. Hmm. And imagine like this being happening, like imagine that you feel safer to tell the government that you're gay than, you're, than telling your own family. Like you, an Islamic theocracy, right? This man is- People for acting on it. Yeah, for acting on it. Well, Susanna, you don't have your name right. Um, for in his in his Islamic theocracy, for when they, yeah, but he knows that they're not going to do anything to him if he hasn't acted on it. He feels safer to tell an Islamic government that, hey, I'm gay. Can I not do military service? But he had to hide it from his family. Like that's how bad his family is. That his number one fear is his family beyond an Islamic theocracy. And eventually, his family was the one that executed him, not the government. The government yeah. was actually giving him the ticket to be able to run away. I mean, Inadvertently, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I also wanted to highlight this because, I mean, well, Armin can speak to this more, but um, I don't think this is very common. No. Like an honor killing for being gay. Like last year, last summer, we there was a month where there was a shocking number of honor killings in quick succession of young girls. But mm -hmm. you were saying that's actually pretty uncommon and rather shocking. like shocking but then this also shocked me because i was like i don't think <clears throat> yeah well you can speak to it no no i mean it, it it depends on okay so it's not common based on how some people think what's happening in iran so it is common if you think like once a year honor killing is common like you know what i mean i mean i'm just saying relative to what people think right like a lot of people don't understand that they think like oh islamic country this must happen every tuesday like no this is shocking this is shocking news i mean it does happen like maybe um once in a while and it does happen in a rural area more than major cities but it's not 
I mean, any amount of this is extremely uh, too high, right? Uh, but it is, it is like a shocking news even within Iran, like something like this. Like this was major news, even within Iranian media, um, as something that sh shocked the conscience of people, right? Um, both Iranians inside and outside of Iran. So it's not like, I mean, it is, if you think it doesn't happen, then actually it is common based on your standards. But if you think that this is something that happens every week, then no, it's not that common, right? So it really does depend on what you mean. But it's the problem with people who think like, oh, of course, Islamic country, of course, this happens all the time. The problem with that line of thinking is that, it's not. first of all, it's not true. And also it numbs people to it so much so that they, they wouldn't want to take action against it, right? So they act like this is something to be expected in, in Iran. So do you feel like, well of, well, of course, it's Iran. And then you don't think like, well, this is the natural way of things happening in a country like this, which is not. And there is no desire to respond to it in a way that will make it less happen less often, right? So that's the problem with that. Yeah, and that's kind of what I wanted to highlight, like, is just to remind people that there's a big difference between, like, maybe official state policies or attitudes of, you know, state authorities versus attitudes and values of everyday people. Like, a good example is how um, shocking it is or unusual and kind of looked down upon it is, like, say, in Iran, when a man will prevent his wife from leaving the country. Like, you know, to actually use instances of you know, Sharia law to um, enforce power in that way. Like it's, it's not actually as um, internally and popularly uh, approved of as um, people like to stereotype or generalize. Um, uh, so Marcia is asking something good. Have the family members been arrested yet? I'm, I'm assuming yes, right? Yeah. That those are the reports that I've heard. Um, yeah. And I think like, do, do you know anything about the potential punishment for this? Um, no, I don't. And I know that under Iranian law, like a family member or a parent will receive a lesser sentence for murdering uh, a girl within your family. Like, I don't know if there's a, any similar attitude or exception towards a gay man. No, no. But he, he it, no. It, would, it, should, it would be a larger punishment that if he was yeah. a young woman. I think I think the punishment would be for for the family members for them for this for him is going to be higher uh, than if if it was an honor killing of a girl. Oh, I have a so. question. So hmm. I've seen situations where family members have honor killed other family members. Uh, I think Pakistan was, was one and a couple other places. And then there's a, the family can choose to forgive that person instead of them mm. going to jail. Is that a possibility in Iran? There's a, I don't know the details, but I know like you could play yes, like, there, like a you, blood price or something, blood price, blood money. There's something associated with that. So yeah. So there's something like that. Which make that's why the punishment for killing your own family members is like less because the crime was done against you. Like it's like and it's so weird. I don't know. I have to actually look into that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, th you are correct. That's kind of something a, a, a bit. A lot of the punishment depends on whether the family forgives you or not, which is still stupid because the main crime was against the person that is not there to defend themselves. Um, and also against the state because the state has a interest and an obligation to prevent people from murdering each other. Exactly. Yeah. Hey guys, YouTube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct um, without telling us what we did wrong. Um, if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists, without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below.